Shimai GTA chums. This is the Weevil, which is a uh, currently a compact car, but we're going to take it to Bernays and turn it into a muscle car because we can finally, finally. This is what we've waited for. This is the only car I'm waiting for on the current DLC drip feed, and we're going to upgrade it to Bernays for 980 grand. Yes, it's expensive. But I'm expecting performance-wise it'll be worth it. Oh, I'll get my surfboard. My surfboard is still up there. Well, that is good. But we've lost our wing. It's become a new wing. And, you know, what? I don't think it's that bad. I thought this was going to be terrible when we did the Benes upgrade. Um, but let's have a look at... We've done all the armour and all that business. So what we are going to do is we're going to think about Livieries. See if we get any new Livieries. So... I'm hoping we do get a new something new because um, then I can put something new on, isn't it? It's, these are all the same as the old one. <laughs> so yeah, no new liveries. That's a bit weird. I mean, it is a hot rod though, so maybe I should put the hot rod flames on, which is utter, utterly wrong, isn't it? Really. Let's, let's just just bear with me. I'll put them on. Uh, I'll put them on and see what see what occurs. Um, right, respray. So primary color, we have the classic black, but maybe we should do a matte color. Let's have a look at the matte black. I like that. I like that indeed. I think it suits something, some kind of two tone. Let's do a light gray on the top. Does that work? Or is it a dark gray? No, we want a dark gray. Sorry. Um, and secondary color, we want a matte. This colours up the wheels as well, so you've got to pick a decent kind of. Maybe just plain white. What? Desert Tan? Where's white gone? Dude, where's my car? Just plain old white. That is nice. Okay, we got it. It's a surf wagon. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna actually. What else? We got trim colour. Oh, look at that! We can do the trim colour at last. Well, that's nice. But I do like it in black. I think. Black is pretty decent, but maybe I should do it and do a two-tone kind of black-white, so frost-white, I think. Okay, that's that's nice. I like that. <laughs> it's Benny's, I know, but it's going to frustrate me at some point. Let's just go back to the back, to the start, and we'll do the bumpers. So we're going to do a bit. This is a Benny's build. You can't have, seem to avoid this. So this bull bar, we're probably going to need it because we're going to smash into a lot of stuff, I reckon, with this car. Um, it's the new fastest car in the game. <laughs> it is. Um, I quite like the extended bull bar. I mean, this is a bit too Mad Max, maybe. Maybe we could do the chrome. No, we've gone matte, haven't we? So we don't want to do the, do the chrome. <clears throat> but this one here with a bit of a scoop on it. No, let's do. Let's stick with the buggy, with the extended bull bar. Maybe we can put those little lights on there. Those are nice. And we're going to do a reasonably clean build, I think, because it's difficult to do a clean build on this. But I think you need to, you can do this with the original BF Weevil, expose the engine. So definitely buy that this week because it's only, I think, 390 grand or something. Super cheap. Um, what we're going to do? What we're going to do, everyone? We've got a lot of options here. Um, we want something that's matte-ish. So that is looking like the one to me, the Barger rear cage. Nice. Um, we're not chroming this little beauty. Chassis. I recommend you buy this car anyway, poor bits. I'm gonna. I've not driven it yet, by the way. So obviously, I'm not. I'm only just doing the upgrade. Let's have a look at those lights again. What is that? It's not got any lights on it. There it is. Okay. Um, so we're gonna smash this a lot. So with that in mind, maybe we should have the queer lights up here, the spotlights, because down below, not super sure. Although, those racing fog lights, I like those. Yes, the racing fog lights got to be going to do that. Um, tail lights. What? Oh, we've not got tail lights. We have got tail lights. Let's, let's put a few vintage bits. Oh, look at those little pippy tail lights. Those are nice, but I want to see what those look like first. So we're going to go with the kind of classic, but just put some, uh, put some uh, covers on them. That's all we're going to do. Okay, that's it. Engine upgrade, exhaust. Okay, we can go a bit crazy with the exhaust if we fancy it, but I don't know. I like it as it as it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, actually, no, I don't. That is nice, and that is nice. That is too much, I think. We're gonna go with a classic kind of look. Yeah, I have my opportunity here to do go 
go for it to the hilt. And it is Bene's. <laughs> Little horns. Yeah, they're kind of rubbish, aren't they? Um, this is a kind of a Mad Max business, isn't it? With the uh, with the uh, little studs across the bonnet. I'm not thinking any of that really works. This is a drag racer as well. I've just watched um, Ruffy 13222's video. So I think it's a positive for performance, which is what we expected anyway. If you've seen like um, Cone's videos, I think it was. I mean, this comes, this kind of, these lights, headlights, you know, fog lights come with it anyway. So. I'm not going to put them on, but something like this carbon kind of look, maybe, maybe, oh, that is kind of good, but horrible. I like that look normally, but I think it's too much on this kind of build. I think, oh, that vent, I'm just not thinking it's right for this livery, so I'm going to go with zero on the hood. Um, musical, we don't want any of that. Interior, okay. So we got the seats, stock seats. I don't see any reason to change these. Um, yeah, the bucket seats are nice and all that. And those are a bit more like it. But it's still, they don't look very comfortable, do they? Mad Max. Uh, barrel seats, what the hell is that? I'm just going to keep stock because I think it's, uh, it's decent options for you, definitely. Good options there, I like that. For once, Benny's is coming up with some new stuff. Um, restore mod maybe? I don't know. What are we going to go for? I like the, the the steering wheel as it is. But restore mod looks a bit new to me, so I'm going to pick that. Yeah. Um, shifters. All right. So we have a we have a gear lever shifter here. It's just a classic Benny stuff, and I quite like an eight ball doors. Yeah. So aluminium. We got the Mad Max stuff. And I kind of like that as well, the muscle. But I'm going to stick with this, this the stock because I think it looks great. I think it's a shame to change for the sake of it. This, on the other hand, we're going to change. Go for race yellow. Yeah, if we, obviously. Roll cage. I think we are going to put a roll cage in, but we're going to do a half cage. Um, cause, so there we go, a basic cage. I'm not thinking that I want to have anything more than that. Actually, they're all we've got a full cage, but I think basic cage is the way to go. Oh, actually, the rear seats disappear. Look. Ah. <laughs> well, we don't need rear seats anyway, but the rear seats look so nice. Oh, we're not going to... Sorry, we're not going to put a cage in because I like the rear seats looking as they are, even though you can't sit in them. Okay, liveries. We've done that. <coughs> mirrors. All right. Uh, mirrors look good. Is there anything better, though? Oh, that looks better, the touring mirrors. I suspect we're going to pick those. That looks like the one from the 300. And, yeah, we've got all sorts. Ornamentals. BF. Oh wait, that is pretty decent. I like that. You know, you can see that from the inside, no doubt. Um, a skull. It is Halloween. It is Halloween, so for that reason we're going to go with a skull. <laughs> um, I'm not sure it fits it. Yeah, it doesn't fit this build, but tell it. Plate. We've done it. Plate, have we got any special ones? No. Okay, respray, we've done. Um, roof, we're probably going to get rid of the surfboard, unfortunately. Um, I like the surfboard. We've got all sorts of options, and some of them are a bit silly. Got to be honest. Uh, are they silly? Actually, no. I'm assuming they're silly from other people's um, thumbnails. I've seen other people's thumbnails. I've watched other people's videos on performance. So I don't. I don't tend to agree with them. I think, <laughs> looking at what what we've got, so I've not really looked at a great deal. The rack. I don't know. I f I'm thinking stock roof is the way to go with this one. And that will be fine. I don't want to do... I was going to do go crazy, but I'm not going to. Everyone's done that. I think it's boring. Um, well, it's not boring, but I think it's predictable. And if anything, I don't want to be predictable. I mean, that's all right, the off-road kit, but it's not on a proper off-road build. Sun strips. Whoa, where are we going? Sun strips. Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Sun visor. If we're going to go for any... Maybe we should go for the coloured one so we can see through the window. Um, but I don't like it, so I'm going to go with the retro one. Maybe we can't see through the window. Spoiler. The mid-level it gives us for free because we already had the spoiler. And that is the re that is the one that I started out with. And that is the best one. I've got to be honest, it's the best one. Primary race wing, just put it on, man. And that is the crazy one. So we're not going to go crazy. We're going to stick with what we've got. You're going to need the spoiler, by the way. Suspension. 
for some reason it's unloaded it, but we're, so we're going to go with a competition, I think, because yeah, it, suspension is lowered. You want to do that for the performance, and um, from what I hear, it's it's terrible. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm going to decide for myself. Um, let's have a look. Tire design, no. Tire enhancements. Maybe do we need a new tire? I think this is this tire is classic. Yeah, they are, it goes with the car. Uh, and the Benny's tires are rubbish. Uh, so wheels. Let's just have a look at Benny's bespoke. Have they added any new Benny's? Basically, do you want to do that to it and ruin it? No, is the answer. Benny's originals. Do you want to do that and ruin it? No. A kind of, you know, low riders are probably a better one. Um, because then you get the white, so you get the. Uh, if there's any low riders that we can we can get to suit this build, it'd probably be something like that. But I think I like the Benny's. Actually, no. The classic rod is the same um, but I think we're gonna stick with it actually let's no let's do it let's do classic rod right and wheel color so this is similar anyway and we're gonna add an orange I want an orange to see what that looks like orange flamed wheels there we go and then the other thing is we can put the tire smoke on yeah we got green change that to orange um, tire design. There we go. I like that look. I think it's good. It's a hot rod. What more do you want? Okay, windows. We can smoke them out. We're not going to. In fact, we're going to get rid of what smoke we've got because I want everyone to see me in this machine. Let's do it. It's daylight. Good timing. 11 minutes. Customization. You know, I'm still not sure if I'm sold on these wheels beyond the outside. But I think I've done the best of it to make it look as good as possible. It's, it's not. Oh, look at that. There's the cornering. Look at the corner in everyone. So this is a very fast car in a straight line. <laughs> but the cornering, <laughs> the cornering is where it lets it down. Look at that. What a beast. The other thing is as well, it does the old um, drag racing. So you can beat everyone in drag racing in this, I imagine. If you can master wheelie. Oh no, it's a hit. It's like that, that um, Figaro wheelie machine. Have they ruined the wheelie again? I was really looking forward to wheelie in this. Uh, but, yeah. That's tri that's a tricky wheelie. I've not got... I've got keyboard and mouse here, so not best for wheelies. But, I like it. I like what they've done with it. You know, it's given something different on the... Uh, on the weevil that... You know, it's, it's in the muscle class now. It's great for straight line performance. Uh, but... It's tricky, it's tricky. You're going to have to learn how to drive it. It slides around the corners. Power slides around the corners. The problem is, it's, the short wheelbase means it's, it really spins quite easily. Unlike other muscle cars that seem to hold the line a bit. So any bumps, that's the tricky one there. I'm learning this all off the bat here. I'm not quoting Bruffy. Bruffy is just all about um, lap time. Uh, but speaking of Bruffy's lap time... I'm going to put his link in the video because he was saying that it's third place in the non-HSW um, muscle cars, I think, he's, I think he was saying. Um, so it's equivalent to the Dominator ASP lap time, but if there's, if there's more corners, the ASP will beat it. If there's less corners, as in straights, exactly, this would beat the Dominator ASP. It won't be, it's a couple of seconds off the um, Buffalo STX, um, so yeah, you probably you're not going to race it in most cases, but why not race it? You know, you have fun. Don't be boring. Um, everyone racing the same car. Um, let's do an uphill one. Oh, come on, man. This is not... The wheelie is very difficult. And I thought this was what it was going to be. If you can learn how to wheel this thing properly, you will have an enormous drag racing machine. Believe me, if that can be done. If that, is that even possible with this? I mean, I'm decent enough on keyboard and mouse at wheeling. No, that's not it, is it? But I think it's just a matter of finding the bite point. It's very tricky. Uh, yeah, anyone who's driven a manual car, first learning how to change, just set off and change gears in it, nightmare. Um, but this, that's what this is like for the first time. Um, but what a car. It looks great. I would suggest... It's up to you guys what you're going to do, obviously, but 
if you want a car that's great for performance uh, and is a weevil but is bad at wheelies then this is the variant of weevil you want to go for and it is a lot faster you're going to get around the map a lot quicker come on man for one point, was it 1.6 million? Uh, six, is it 600 grand the weevil? I should know. I should add these figures up, but it's not bad value. You know, it's not super expensive. I don't think it is overpriced, purely because it's so fast in a straight line. It's a it's a sleeper. It's a hot rod. It's a unique car. Um, you're not gonna. Not everyone's gonna enjoy driving it, purely because of the cornering. But you could learn how to corner in it. I think with every car in the in the muscle car that class that people talk about being bad in cornering, oh, it's trash, it's rubbish, it's no good. Well, just learn how to drive. You know, if you if you're the kind of person who thinks the um, thinks the likes of I'm trying to think of the car now. Uh, what's it What's it called? The the old classic muscle cars that don't corner too well. If you don't like those, and if you have had a bit of it from sp if it's spinning out, like it did then, then you're not going to like it. You know, the like of the Vamos. If you don't like the Vamos, then you're not going to like this. But it's faster than the Vamos. In a straight line. So, I'd buy it for the challenge. I would, I would have both. But what my suggestion is, if you're a bit unsure because of what you're seeing here with me cornering, and the kind of bounce that you're getting off the cars and spin out, then and the bounce off the curb as well. There's a bit of a p curb bounce with the uh, with the um, the lowering of the suspension. Then don't buy it. Just buy it. buy it when it's on a, on special on discount. And but do buy the Weevil this week because it's great for it. It's a great car. You need to have the Weevil in your garage anyway. I'd suggest you buy the Weevil and then when the Bennies are next on discount, do the Bennies upgrade. Do yourself a favour. It's a great car. Buy it. Just I just buy it anyway. So I've outlined everything there that you need to know. A bit long the video, yes, but it's a Benny's, Benny's video. I'll put the tags in. Obviously, you can move ahead. Buy it. <laughs> definitely, definitely fulfilled my kind of expectations a little bit. Disappointed me a bit on the wheelies, got to be honest there. Um, but worth it anyway. I'm glad I bought it. Definitely worth it. A lot more worth it than the... Look at it, it's the same price as the... Um, the four-wheel drive BMW 5 Series convertible. Yeah, the uh, the Reinhard. Same kind of price, but it offers more. It's more interesting. The Reinhard isn't that interesting. <laughs> so for that reason, you might want to buy it. Anyway, give me a comment on what your th thoughts are. And well, thanks very much for watching. Have a great day if you're playing Dust GTA. Let's get this freaker out there.